Hi guys, it's Lula. Um, back here with another two brand new chapters of Matchmaker. Um, as you see, um, right now it says 10 and 12. Um, that's because right now we're going to go into it and we're actually going to start the new chapter 10 episode right now. And then, um, will be is in it'll be these two chapters and then the last one's gonna be a finale all on sin. Moving around here. Mm.
still loading. Okay. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm just waiting. <laughs> sure, you can all wait. Oh, yay, finally. Okay. And we got four passes. Yay. Okay. Yay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Watch this match. I'm here. What's so important? Can't let Cupid go through with this. If he goes down, we all go down with him. We have to convince him to keep making matches. So Legacy can't die before the next Cupid is selected. He's our superior. He'll never listen to us. I know that, but he'll listen to her. You want Luke to use Lula to manipulate him? If he ever found out, he won't. She's our only hope. The next morning, yeah. Okay. So? Ethan or Cupid? Ah, oh, I hate these floating things. Seriously? That's the important question that I needed to come in early for? You left your phone at Dark Angel. I couldn't exactly text you. Stop dodging the question. Ethan or keep it. And as your best friend, I promise not to judge if you fall for an immortal god. I love Ethan, but last night with Ethan sparked something new. Um, both? It's too early to tell Melinda. You want the move? I knew it. Did Cupid at least agree to consider Sterling's life? We put too much effort into that plan for it to fail. It didn't fail. It worked perfectly. Maybe a little too perfectly. He promised to think about it. We'll have to see what... Uh, um, Cupid? Sorry to interrupt, but there's someone here to see you. My first client for an hour. Is not for an hour, jerk? I'm not here looking for love, gorgeous. Cupid? What are you doing here? You forgot your phone in my room last night. His room?
give us a minute. Did you need to make it seem as if we spent the night together? I like to make an entrance. What are you really doing here? My phone can't be the only reason for this visit. I have a proposition for you. A proposition? I'm listening. You sparked my attention. Our conversation last night got me thinking, Lula. I told you my story and it seemed to change things between us. Tonight, I'd like to take you on a date. A proper date. No cameras or distractions, just the two of us. What do you say? A date with Cupid? What's the catch? There isn't one. I'd simply like to same time spend time with you away from all of this. I'm taking you out out after work, Lula. Oh, and I left a dress in your office for you to wear tonight. I'd really love it if you did. A date with Cupid? <laughs> Eavesdropping? Seriously? No. Yes! You're going on a date with Cupid? I can't wait. I bet the dress he bought you is one of a kind. Let's find out. You look stunning! He's right, Lula. You look amazing. You need to, to wear Cupid's dress to your official first date. They're right. If he's surprising me with this date, I need to wear it. I'll just wear something else tonight. What the hell? Is it you? I need your help. Oh, sure. Because I'd love to help the jerk who dragged me into an alleyway. Are you out of your freaking mind? Did Cupid send you? Cupid doesn't know I'm here. This is about him. Is it? It is? Whatever it is, I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. He's going to die if you don't help me. What? I assume Cupid told you about the rules of his immortality. He finds a match every year, then he's free. If he fails, then he lives up his immortal life in the underworld. Exactly, but because of you, he's decided that this is his last year occurring matches. Because of me? I don't believe you. Cupid would never give all of that up for me. He would, after he met you, something changed. It's not the same. He's starting to become in touch with his humanity. He's become beginning to care again. I believe he's falling in love with you. 
and you need to break his heart. Why would I do that to him? The more Cupid cares, the more guilt he feels over the matches he chooses. But if he doesn't care, then he can continue fulfilling his destiny. You're lying! I won't try... I won't help you try to hurt him! Fine, Lula. Let Cupid fall for you and then let him die for you. Being a matchmaker is his destiny. You need to convince him to fulfill it. Either that or show that you can still love him for the mortal man he is. His fate is in your hands, Lula. There you are. I was getting to work where I'd, I'd been stood up. Would that be a first in your century alive? How do you manage to reserve the entire restaurant? Nothing. A little mind control can't manage. Mind what? I'm kidding, darling. Unfortunately, mind control is not one of my amazing qual qualities. But money is. Of course. I do wish you would have Wearing that dress, though. I want to. Meet me next time. So, you want there to be a next time? We're not even done. Our first thing, you're already playing our second? Sounds like Cupid is falling in love. With you, it doesn't feel like I have much of a choice. Cupid even allowed to fall in love? How does that work? I can easily fall in love, Lula. Most people aren't too interested in loving a man that lives forever. But what if someone does fall in love with you? What if they want to live forever too? Is that possible? It doesn't happen often. But it's possible. We Cubits have a marriage ritual that bonds us with the person we love, linking them to us forever. So theoretically, a human c could become immortal to be with you. If they wish, yes. Why all the questions? Are you planning on spending forever with me, Lula? Forever with you? Would you really want to spend here forever with me? I think it could be fun. Two mortal matchmakers taking over the world. Sorry, it's Ethan. What are you doing tonight? Can't exactly tell him I'm on date with Cupid. Just saying that I'm... Sorry, Ethan. I'm working late. See you tomorrow. What were you saying? That I think we should get out of here. Do you love Ethan? Why are you asking me that? Because I need to know. Am I so in love with Ethan? No, 
Not the way I used to be. I thought being back together would make me happy again. And it did, for a while. But it doesn't feel like his love is enough anymore. Is that why you lied to him about being with me tonight? Let's forget the reason I'm in this situation is because of you, Cupid. You turned my entire life upside down. And maybe this matchmaking of yours works for other people. But it's not working for me. All I ever wanted is to be with Ethan. But now... Now part of me wants to the safety of Ethan, but the other part wants you. Darling, I was just as surprised as you were. I never thought my heart would yearn for a human until I met you. Spend the night with me, Lula. Mm -hmm. No, I gotta go home. I want to, but I should probably head home. Are you sure? I really want you to stay. I am, but tonight was great, Cupid. I'll see you soon. I forgot how big this place is. Where's the exit? That's weird. All the cameras are off. Lula, you can't be in here right now. Why are all the ca are the cameras off? It's best if Cuban answers that question. Tell me what's going on. Cupid has decided that he no longer wants to participate in her work. This is his. This is going to be his last year. But he can't quit, or else he 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 dies. That man in the alley alley was telling the truth. Lula, we need to talk. Alright, here we go, episode 11. Woo! This is getting interesting here, folks. I hope you're listening up. Lula, we need to talk. Is what she said true? You're going to die? Yes, I'll explain everything. How could you keep this from me? You didn't think to tell me that you plan on dying? I thought this was what you wanted. For me to stop being a... A monster. It is! Or it was. I, I, I don't know anymore. Lula. I need to leave. I tried to warn you. I told you she wasn't worth it. Perhaps you were right. Ethan! 
talk about deja vu. What are you doing here? You lied to me. What are you talking about? I saw you, you tonight with another man, Lula. You saw me on a date with Cupid? So, what well, looks like, okay? It's complicated. Then let me simplify it. You're cheating on me. No, I, I was trying to help you. I'm doing this for you, but I... You're right. I got carried away and made this all about me. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have, have given us another chance. This was all big mistake. A mistake? Wait for him. No, it wasn't a mistake. I can fix this, Ethan. I can. I love you. We can find a way to make us work. Ow. You cheated on me. I was trying to save your life. What? Nothing. Pretend I never said that. Oh, sure. And while I'm at it, I'll pretend you never cheated on me either. Goodbye, Lula. If Ethan doesn't want to be with me, it, that means the spell failed. And Ethan will die. Cupid's going to die too. And now I've lost both of them. Next morning. Morning, Cupid. Your first client is waiting. Are you wearing sweatpants? Yes. I'm wearing sweatpants, Jeremy. It's not the end of the world. Me wouldn't be comfy if it's the end of the world. Who are you and what have you done with Cupid? Melinda, it's Jeremy. You need to come to the office now. Cupid's lost her mind. That happens at least once a week, Jeremy. What is it now? She's wearing sweatpants. To work. I'm on my way. I just didn't feel a connection with any of the women you ch chose. And that's my fault? Of course not. I'm saying... Well, maybe if you weren't so unbelievably picky, you'd find someone. Or maybe we'll, we're all just meant to die alone. Love sucks! I think Cupid means that love is glorious. Yay, yeah, love! No, what I mean is that love just rips your heart open in. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming by. What is wrong with you? I got dumped last night. Twice. Oh boy. And I guess Ethan saw a Cupid and I together, so he broke up with me. I can't even explain to him that I was trying to convince Cupid to save his life. It doesn't sound like you were, Lula. What are you talking about? You started your relationship with Cupid to save Ethan, sure. But it's not about, not about him anymore. You're with Cupid because you want to be with him. 
not for Ethan. Have I really been so selfish? What do I do now? You can't leave, you can't have Cupid and Ethan, Lula. It's time you made a choice. Yeah, hoping they still want to be with me. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to choose? Cupid, it's me. Don't forget about the mixer tonight for Mr. Sue. I totally forgot about the mixer. Of course I didn't forget, Jer. I'm getting dressed right now. Mr. Sue? What's got you pounding into your drink, Cupid? Oh, just thinking about how it's the last time I was here. My entire life was about to change. I'm sorry for yelling at you this morning, Jer. It's been a rough 24 hours. Having two men in love with you must be so hard. It is now that I've ruined things with both of them. Maybe you didn't ruin it, Cupid. Maybe you just made it more complicated. Besides, if they both hated you, would they be here right now? Wait, what? They're here! But how'd they even find out about? Lena must have told them. She's trying to make me choose. Who is that? Are they flirting with some woman in a yellow dress? You need to get your man back now. Or should I say men back? Follow me. Why are we hiding in the dressing room? I'd be a terrible assistant if I'd let you try to win them back wearing that. I swear my grandmother owns the same sweater. Will you ever get tired of insulting what I wear? Come on, Cupid, focus! Ethan and Cupid are both here, and you need to win them back. And I just happen to have the perfect yellow dress that'll do the, do the job. It's way harder than that woman's old rag. Go on, try it. Try it. I knew it looked amazing on you. You really think this will work, sure? If you want to win the Cupid and Ethan back, you need to show them exactly what they're missing. Wear that dress, out dim the lights, and we'll make a huge entrance out of it. Trust them. I'll just wear what I had on. What are you two doing here? Linda called and told me that to be here or she'd uh, hurt me. My assistant told me you require my presence. Because I have an assistant to do that, you know. Well, I'm happy you're here. We really need to talk. To talk. Perfect. Follow me, darling. I'll be back. Cupid.
you were saying? I'm so upset with you for keeping a huge secret from me, Cupid. I should have told you, Lula, I know. I just thought you would be happy with my choice. Of course I don't want you to die. No, but you were right. When you told me that the lives of my victims matter too, I suppose there's one way I could remain immoral. Which is, if you choose be to become immoral with me. We can live forever, Lula. Helping people fall in love. Then, one day, when a new Cuba is chosen, we can do whatever you'd like. We can travel the whole world. We'd have an eternity together. Wow. Um, forever is a long time to spend with someone. You don't need to decide right now, darling. But let me know, Lula, because I'd love to spend my forever with you. You look happy. That actually depends on you. Are you so upset with me? You cheat on me, Lula. Why wouldn't I be mad? There's so much you don't know, Ethan. So many things I wish I could tell you. But I can't. All I can say is how sorry I am. I really was trying to help you, though. Things just got crazy. It's okay, Lula. I forgive you. You do? I bailed the last time we were together, and you forgave me. So yeah, I forgive you this time. But... You need to tell me what you want, Lula. I wouldn't be strong along if you don't really love me. Believe me, I know. I can't really think about it, about anything else. I just want you to be happy, Lula. Whether it's with me or someone else. Tonight was perfect, but Melinda was right. I can't keep stringing them both along. Who's they going to be, Lula? Who am I going to choose? And there you go, guys. There's one heck of a cliffhanger for you. Okay? I'm going to stop it right here right now and save this one for the finale episode okay all right um in fact you know what um i'll post a quick poll on twitter um to see who you think sh i should choose okay all right we're gonna make this decision together assuming that everybody's watching okay <laughs> Alright, um, I'll see you guys, um, soon. Lula out.